Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and It Designs. Today I was thinking, you know, since I'm going to be having this wedding and I'm going to be making bridesmaids baskets, part of one of the things that I wanted to have in there are a nice decorative hanger. So what I've done as I frequent Ikea, I've picked up a packet and I believe their packet is either 8 or 10 hangers that are all white. They come in all different colors. They even have a beautiful cherry wood, but that wouldn't match obviously my colors. So I've gone with the white. Last night in having a bout of insomnia, like I do from time to time, we went to Walmart. And at Walmart, I happened to find these little tags, which I've opened already, and they're called Transform Mason, and you get 10 different tags. I bought two packages of these because I needed to use both of these tags. So you get two of this size and two of the smaller sizes. So that would only be enough to do four hangers, which is what I actually need because I have a very small wedding party. So what I've gone ahead and done is I have spray painted those pieces and I'll inter, uh, inter, uh, inject the video of that, taking them outside and I've spray painted them this silver metallic color and one of them which will be for my hanger which I'll do at a later date has a pink tag on top of it. So that's the only one that's pink so that mine will be a little bit different from everyone else's so I also went to the Dollar Tree today I can never stay out of that store and I was blessed to find this embroidered lace ribbon so I'm gonna use that to help embellish the little name placket that I'm creating with this little cutout wooden cutout so since it's been spray painted um, in doing these hangers I realized that Placing the placard on the hanger first makes it more difficult for you to put the lace on in a neat way. So the easiest way in which to do that is to actually hot glue to the back of the placard the lace in an accordion fold. So that's what I'm actually going to start with. So I'm sorry but I can't tell you how many uh, inches you'll need of this ribbon but it doesn't take much because I probably would be able to do like 10 hangers with this ribbon it's so pretty so I go ahead and with a little bit of hot glue on the back of the placard you take your fabric ribbon and you place it in the hot glue and then you just pinch and continue pinching and then you add more hot glue where you need it and you continue just pinching so you're doing just a little pinch fold and what that's going to do is give you a nice looking border that looks like this and I'm just going to do that all the way around the placard A nice pinch accordion fold. Be very careful that you don't burn yourself because this glue is hot. If you notice that I'm using my fingernails in order in which to. So, this is what it'll look like when you're done doing all of the pinch pleats. Because this is a smaller placard, I went ahead and I put two rows of the lace. And I just think it looks so vintage and chic. So, now that I've done this, we need to go ahead and adhere it to our hanger and what I've decided to do to help with doing that is these glue dots from the Dollar Tree I go ahead and put it in the center here of my hanger 
and peel off the second backing. Now, it's a lot of fluff in the back of this, so it's it doesn't always adhere it solidly. That's the reason why you see the little bit of painter's tape, but I like to go ahead and center it and press really hard. And then also as a double secure, use the painter's tape so that I can secure it so it won't move. Because the next thing I'm gonna use are these things. This is called carpet tacks. I couldn't find I couldn't find any smaller studs. So this is what I found that was actually shorter. And for this you're going to need a hammer. So I take the hammer and go ahead and attach the placard to the hanger. And after I'm done doing this, we'll come right back. Hammer and you've attached the carpenter tacks. Now you can always spray paint these as well, but I'm gonna actually bling mine out with real Swarovski crystals so it doesn't matter. Um, try and get your nails or your tacks nailed in straight. I always have a problem with that. So anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the painter's tape because it's done its job and the placard is attached. Now I'm gonna actually put the Swarovski crystals on. So I'm going to use the adhesive, I believe it says Secure All. There's also E6000 that you can use. Um, my E6000 is really tacky, so I want to go ahead and use the Secure All, which I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just put a little dab of glue and another dab of glue just on the nail heads and you know Swarovski crystals have so many different sizes but I'm actually using the bigger size and my colors are champagne blush and um, winter white which is not quite ivory definitely not white lots of people it's kind of a hard color to to dis to describe but I'm using the larger Swarovski crystals that are in this pinkish color and I'll show it to you once I adhere it because they're they're a little bit tiny bigger than the usual but still tiny so they're a pinkish color so now that I've adhered these the hanger comes out really, really cute, and we're going to go ahead and write the names on here. But one extra thing I decided that it needed was a little extra bling. So for that, I have these gemstone sheets that I got from Michaels. So when we come back, I'll show you how I adhere these using the X-Acto knife. So with my X-Acto blade, I'm just going to separate. Now you can always use scissors too. But I'm just going to go ahead and go straight down the line and remove a strip of these diamond stickers. Now we're not going to use all of them, but I like to just work with it being separate from the grouping. Let me place those out of the way. Always put the blade back in its shield. Now from here, you take the hanger. And I start to separate the stickered crystals and start adding them to the outside edge. And one thing I love about this is that it already has the adhesive on it. So it's just peel and stick. So it's just going to marry the ribbon to the placard or you can call it a place card I just call it a placard and continue working with it
slowly but surely placing it exactly where you want it and then you can either use a pair of scissors or again you can use your exacto knife for this I actually prefer to use scissors Stop. and have it all connect so there we go now all we have to do is write the name and this is for my maid of honor and best friend Ruth uh, we actually call her Ruthie but I'm just gonna put Ruth on here initially I used the Sharpie in gold that I purchased last night from Walmart but somehow it ruptured and um, the tip separated from the pen so I, I had gold liquid sharpie everywhere so this is actually a new pen that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree along with the silver one and we're gonna go ahead and use this one It's a gel pen. It works pretty good. And then my daughter suggested that we do an outline of everyone's names in black ink just to kind of help it pop. But, uh, I'll have to find a nice fine pointed sharpie that hopefully won't rupture to in which to do that with but here's the final look it has Ruth with the Swarovski crystals and lace and I think that turned out pretty nice I was thinking about adding a bow to it, um, but uh, I think that would be a little bit too much. But anyway, here's the final look. Nice, shabby, chic hanger for the bridesmaids' dresses for the wedding. If you like this video, please share it, click the like button, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And my next wedding tutorial should be in a couple of days. Um, so please be looking out for that. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.